welcome back to another video. So in this video I'm showing you a set that I've drawn on my practice hand with some glitters that I was sent from the Glitter Nail Angel. Um, so first I'm just going in here with my cover pink and I'm just applying that to all the nails. Um, I'm not too worried about coverage on the free edge on the tip because that's where I'm going to be going in with the glitters anyway. But I just wanted to get some colour on that back third of the nail. So I'll just let you watch for a minute. Okay, so now I'm coming in with a glitter called Olivia and it's this gorgeous fine purple glitter and I'm just placing that at the free edge and feathering that back with my brush as you can see. And then I'll add more if I need more or swipe off if I need to swipe off. Any? Um, so yeah, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about the Glitter Nail Angel. So she contacted me a couple of weeks ago and asked me if I would be interested in maybe showcasing some of her products. Um, so that, that was Chris that contacted me and it's her and her granddaughter that run the, the business. And it was set up in memory of her granddaughter, Faith. Um, I, I have said all this in my unboxing video, but I just wanted to reiterate and let you all know just in case you've not seen that video or, you know. So yeah, her and her granddaughter, I think she's called Rebecca. Sorry if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, Chris and Rebecca, I believe, run the company and it's in memory of her granddaughter, Faith. And so basically every order that they get, they donate a certain amount to their local children's hospital, which I think is just amazing. Um, this is something that is close to my heart. I'm not going to go into it now on YouTube because it's very personal, but it is very close to my heart. So, and that, that's why obviously I've agreed to do this because you all know I am an ambassador for Sparkle Supplies, but, and I wouldn't normally accept glitters as such. Um, but because this is so close to my heart, that's why I've done it. And I'm so pleased that I have because it just raises more awareness and, you know, if, if it helps get one donation, you know, it's doing a job. I'm doing my job. And that, that's just the way that I feel about it. So, yeah, um, I think it's amazing that, that that's what they're doing. So, even if you don't want to purchase anything, please just pop over to the website and have a look. Share it with your friends. Share it with your family. Anyone who might be interested in some glitters, crystals, anything, just share it away. Um, I'll leave link, a link in the description box. And I've also got a little discount code. Now, I don't get paid for that discount code. It is literally there just for you guys. So I just wanted to make that clear and let, let you all know that. 
suppose you don't have to be transparent with all this kind of stuff. So anyway, I'm now going in with some stars and I'm using a little wax pencil to pick those up because I find when I try and pick them up with my brush, it picks up loads. Or if I separate them out into my little tray that I've got, they end up sticking to the tray because of the monomer in my brush. So I just prefer to do it this way. I use this little wax pencil. It's just cheap one off eBay or Wish or something like that. Um, I can't quite remember where I got it from, but it is only a cheap one. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm using to pick up those stars and place them on the nail. So if the nail's quite dry, you can see there I'm going in with a little bit of clear acrylic just to hold them in place for when I come back and cap the nails. So I'll just let you watch for a minute again. Now I'm just coming in and I'm going to cap all these nails, so yeah, I just place a bead in the back third, bring it down over the stars. You'll know when you've capped all your glitter as well because it won't be sparkling at you anymore, but then once you top coat you'll see that that sparkle comes back. So yeah, and then I just place a bead at the end and just feather that back to blend it in with the first bead. Making sure I'm keeping those side walls tied in, the free edge. And yeah, I have only kept two nails in capping just because I didn't want you to get bored. So yeah, I prefer to show my design work rather than capping. I just think it's dead boring. <laughs> but if you do want to see it, let me know and I'll keep it in a couple of videos. But yeah, that's what I am doing. So and then I'm going to come in and show you me filing one nail because again, it gets repetitive and boring so and I've left this in real time for you as well this bit so you can see you know I'm just keeping my file right straight up against those side walls flat file in the free edge and then over around the cuticle this is my filing routine on every nail and that's the way you want to keep it you want to try and do the same thing on every nail so you come out with the same end result if that makes sense so I'm going to go over the other side of the cuticle, down the side wall, and then over the barrel of the nail. And that is just what I always do. It's my routine. I mean, you'll find one that you're comfortable with. So, you know, you don't have to do it my way. I'm just saying that this is my <laughs> routine. So, yeah, um, you do it however you feel comfortable, but try and do the same on each nail so you get the same end result. And then I'm going to come in and buff that nail and this is what I do on all the nails as well just to get out any scratches and so my top coat applies a lot better when you can't see the scratches. I'm just using my dusty brush there to get away the excess dust and then I'm going to buff like I said. <laughs> so I love this part, I love buffing, I love feeling it when it's all nice and smooth. Love it. And then I'm going to come in and top coat these nails. So just apply my top coat, seal the free edge and side walls. And then this one I've left in slow mo for you because I had to stick a slow mo in there so you could see the glitters just come through, come to life. So anyway, we're coming towards the end of the video now. So I'm going to say thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you in my next one. Thanks for joining guys. Bye bye.